Wireless networks are an integral component of modern communication. Now, the concept behind a wireless network is pretty simple. It's just multiple communication nodes connected via wireless links. But these nodes can range from a cell phone or Wi-Fi router to satellites orbiting in space. Networks can have different topologies, can be of any scale, and most importantly, need to coexist with other network types operating in a similar frequency band. Errors can have unintended consequences. Which is why, to effectively design for wireless networks, modeling and simulation is an integral step of the process. And with MATLAB, network modeling and simulation can be intuitive, easier, and faster. With just a few lines of MATLAB code, we can easily model a 5G network comprised of a G node B and a few UEs. We can then scale this simulation to the desired number of G node Bs and UEs. First, we initialize the simulator and configure the network scenario. Next, we associate UEs with corresponding GNBs and add network traffic to each node in the network. Finally, we run the simulation and capture the statistics. But what can we do with a network simulation once we've created it? Well, you can get visualizations for critical parameters such as block error rate, throughput, data rate for downlink and uplink for each node. You can then take this simulation and scale it up to model and simulate a large 5G network. You can use different massive MIMO techniques, including cell-free MIMO, which is a promising technology for 6G wireless networks. Let's explore wireless LAN system-level simulation with an example. In this demo, we're modeling a Wi-Fi network in a residential scenario to evaluate performance. We have a building with three floors and 36 WLAN nodes. 12 of them are access points, and the others are stations. We're going to start by configuring the network, then simulate the scenario, and finally visualize and analyze the results. And the MATLAB models of these communication nodes comply with the latest standards. We can even choose from various WLAN standards supported in MATLAB. To start, we run this block of code to visualize packet communication over time. This opens a new window that lets us observe the state transitions of the nodes. After the simulation, we can even zoom into specific time intervals and examine details more closely. Back in the live script, we can plot different parameters from the simulation, such as throughput, packet loss ratio, and latency. We can save packets exchanged within the network and export them to other applications, like Wireshark, for further analysis and visualization. Plus, we can capture IQ samples for each node, which is valuable for post-processing and AI for wireless applications. But you don't even need to be limited to these simulation parameters. You can configure a WLAN network to be compliant with various WLAN standards, introduce mobility to the nodes, and associate different traffic models to study their effects. So far, we've seen modeling and simulation for 5G and wireless LAN networks. But there are a variety of different types of networks, like wireless LAN, 5G, Bluetooth, and the wireless communication spectrum is limited. Often, the spectrum needs to be shared across these communication technologies. As can be seen in this figure, the wireless LAN spectrum overlaps with the Bluetooth spectrum. Hence, we need to model and simulate for wireless coexistence between such heterogeneous networks. We can perform wireless coexistence modeling and simulation. With visualizations of packet communication in time and frequency, and state transition of the nodes in the network. In fact, we can experiment with various collaborative and non-collaborative coexistence algorithms. This animation shows how a Bluetooth network detects and coexists with two WLAN interferers using adaptive frequency hopping. With all these different simulations, you can speed them up in various ways. For example, you can choose between a high-fidelity physical layer and its abstracted model. Using the abstracted physical layer significantly reduces simulation overhead and increases speed of the simulation in large networks. You can also leverage parallel computing to run multiple simulations simultaneously with different parameter sets to speed up the network simulation.
As you can see, MATLAB supports network simulations for a variety of cellular and connectivity networks, including 5G, WLAN, Bluetooth networks, and wireless coexistence scenarios. But more importantly, MATLAB offers rich visualizations to make network modeling and simulation intuitive, minimal coding to make it easier, and optional physical layer abstraction and use of parallel computing to make it faster. This means you can spend more time focusing on your actual research problems instead of wasting time setting up and troubleshooting your simulation. For more information on the demos used in this video and other resources about wireless network simulation, check out the links in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and happy coding.